Hello everyone, this is Hacker. Welcome to the channel. Today is Monday, September 21st. And here's a list of the daily challenges at Madame Lazar's location. Madame Lazar, she's going to be located just north of Ansburg here in Roanoke Ridge. And the nearest fast drive is going to be Ansburg. Okay, so now on to the challenges. We have one Comorant plucked. 5,280 distance traveled on a mount. Five items sold to Gus. Three non-player enemies hat shot off. One photographed your horse. One place top three in a takeover showdown. And one place top three in a score with a score in free room events. Okay, so for one Comorant plucked. I'll show you where I'm at and I got mine here. Actually, it's gonna be right here. I got mine. Just south of Calica Hall. Uh, you can also find them in the Chain Islands over here in this area, in this area here. Look at my cursor going on right here. And you can find them over here. They're floating in the water. Uh, be careful. There should be like two or three of them there. What I do normally is I shoot one in the water and then wait for the, wait for the other two to fly towards land here. And uh, I shoot them in the air. And if you shoot them in the water, just hopefully you can get to them because sometimes it's deep. Same, same with this one over here. And uh, there's a few other locations, but these are my go-to spots. And all you do is uh, kill one and pluck them, and that challenge is completed. Uh, you need 5,280 distance traveled on a mount, but that, that's one mile. Just jump on your horse and during your gameplay, get your challenges done. Uh, you, should have, you should have a mile done. Uh, and once you do that, challenge is completed. Five items sold to Gus. You can sell any items, to any, any kind of item to Gus. Gus is located in like little, this little paw print here. They're located throughout the map. And all you do is just, like I said, sell any five, item, five things to Gus, and that challenge is completed. You need three non-player enemies hat shot off for that. I usually have a friend help me out on this one, and uh, I, sh I, I have him wear a big hat. Not like the one I'm wearing here, but just a regular big, standard hat, big hat. And I shoot, it, shoot his hat off three times. And he does mine, vice versa. Uh, I think he, I don't think you can be in a posse while you do this. But uh, yeah, go ahead and do that. Try that. Uh, or if you don't have a friend around, uh, go ahead and like, go in the hideouts and aim for their hats. Tonic up real good. And uh, aim for your non-player enemies' hats. Like in roadblocks, hideouts, anything like that. And once you get three, that challenge is completed. Want to photograph your horse? Just go up with a standard camera or your or your uh, advanced camera and go ahead and snap a picture of your horse. Uh, as long as the horse is in the frame, uh, that challenge account. You need one place top three in a takeover series. For that, you're gonna to have to press left on the D-pad and go down to quick join and do takeover series. And you got to place top one, two, or three, and then that challenge is completed. Good luck with that one. I know I'm going to need it. <laughs> and then uh, the last one in the general would be one place top three with a score in free room events. Every 20 minutes or so in the upper left hand corner of your screen will pop a free room event and you got to place top three. And then once you do that, challenge is completed. Good luck again. I'm going to need it. No, no. Uh, you can participate like in fishing if you don't want to play PvP, fishing and stuff like that. And that challenge will be completed once you hit top three. All right, for bounty hunting, we need uh, two bounties targets tagged with a tracking arrow. Just to go ahead and uh, equip your arrow with a tracking arrow. You can get a tracking arrow pamphlet from the fence and uh, craft to, uh, a couple of them and uh, just tag, tag your bounty target. Uh, you can tag the same bounty target twice as long as you don't shoot them in the head, uh, shoot them in the legs, and then that challenge will be completed. Three eagle eyes used to track a bounty target. For that, uh, number two dollar sign bounty is usually 90% of the time is to search. And you can get your eagle eyes used that way, or you can track your bounty targets using that tracking arrow. Uh, one player bounty collected for that, just run, have your buddy run up a $20 bounty. And uh, once you see it pop in plus green, go ahead and apprehend them and turn them into authorities. Uh, three dead, the only deadly predator carcasses or skins. The easiest will be alligators. Uh, go ahead and bring in three alligators to your camp, but you can also donate wolves, bears, cougars, panther. Those all count also. Any seven medium animal carcasses donated to Crips. That's any animal that would fit on the side of your horse, like rabbits, skunks, uh, muskrats count. Uh, but 
to ease this would be go to LeGras and pull out your wagon and go ahead and shoot the chickens. As long as chickens or ravens are in your wagon, they'll count. I want you to bring in seven. That challenge is completed. You need one resupply completed with five minutes or more left on the clock. For that, go ahead and run your resupply when your camp's halted. Actually do it and don't order and, want you, and try to get there with five minutes, five minutes or more. Collector, you need three antique alcohol bottles found. For that, open up Madame Zara's antique alcohol bottles and go to those three locations. Or you can use the player interactive map, which I'll provide the link below. Two collectibles found with a metal detector. Uh, the easiest would be arrowheads and coins and fossils. Uh, you can go with, uh, and you can, use, you, you can open up a map that way, or you can use the player interactive map and just go to those two locations and uh, dig them up. With, and that challenge is completed. Three lost jury found the uh, same way. Just open up the map of lost jury, a battle bazaar, or you can use a player interactive map. Moonshine, or two moonshine bar dance for two minutes. Just go downstairs in your moonshine shack, fire up the band, and have and cut a rug for two minutes. And then that challenge will be completed. Four moonshine surge to other players at the bar. I invite your buddy downstairs in your bar, go up to the tap, and serve them four drinks. Your buddy's gonna have to lean on the bar and request a drink for it to happen. Or you could try, if your lobby's big enough, maybe invite someone in and, and do the same. You need one moonshine soap with at least 18 bottles intact for that. Uh, one, Make a batch of moonshine and once it's completed make a delivery and go ahead and deliver that moonshine be careful around curves railroad tracks bridges and uh revenueers and bring in at least 18 bottles one don't kill an animal for 24 game hours as you can see mine's ticking away because i'm standing here talking to you guys uh this is the kind of it's easy in a way and it, it but it's time consuming if i stand still right here and not run over the animals with my horse or shooting animals then uh, I'll get that challenge in one game day. 48 minute real time minutes. You can also hang out at camp or hang out at moonshine, your moonshine shack. And just like it says, three uh, forest river animal samples taken. All right, for that, forest river animals consist of bears, beaver, raccoon, foxes, skunks, possum, muskrat. So these, see, these three would work for uh, the seven medium. Uh, rabbit, same way. Bear and moose. Just get, I mean, it's a sample of those, and then that challenge will be completed. And last but not least is two hardy tonics, when hot, too hot or too cold. You get the hardy tonics pa uh, pamphlet from Harriet, which you can also buy hardy tonics from Harriet, Harriet, I'm sorry. And when you get too hot, like I'm wearing right now, I probably won't probably burning up uh, I will slam a tonic or you can go up like say, say culture and slam a tonic when you're too cold all right that's it for the challenges Mount Lazarus once again she's gonna be located up by Ansburg here in Royal Oak Ridge and the nearest fast travel is gonna be Ansburg okay I wish everyone luck on their dailies and later